This week, we show you Cedar Island and a Thousand Islands. We show you Fort Henry, and uh, we show you what happens when you break your elbow at Main Duck. Hey guys, this is a story of Capella C and her three crew that uh, sailed just across the Great Lakes in the Eastern Canada. I'm Jason, the captain. Boss lady said I can say something. Boss lady. And I'm Kieran, aka Mr. Kieran. And this is our newest crew member, Senior Garfield. Now, let's, let's see what we're, we're up, up, we're up to this week. Now, we're showing you the beautiful Fort Henry in downtown Kingston. Um, she was born, uh, she was built between 1832 and 1838 and completed in 1838 and she was built to defend the Rideau Canal along with the uh, Canadian border with the Americans because at the time Canada or still is Canada belongs to the British. So here it is in all its glory. And here we see what the uh, soldiers were looking at uh, from the fort. So while we're panning, on the left hand side, uh, we see the uh, Canadian Air Force um, Marina. At the top left, we see Owl Island. And then everything on the right between the other piece of water that's in the very top right would be Wolf Island. Yes, it is a humongous island. Now you also see Simcoe Island on the top left. And right now you're looking at uh, the uh, Royal Canadian Military College in downtown Kingston. Get it, givers. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, now. It's not a spicy raisin. It's okay. Oh, it's she lost okay. Connection. Uh oh. I have control over it. I just can't see it. Here we see an aerial view of downtown Kingston, and more specifically, Confederation Basin Marina. Now, this marina was put up between 1985 and 1989, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the break wall, uh, along with the uh, wall going to the uh, Martello Tower. Now, here's the view of the second Martello Tower. Uh, this is on Cedar Island. Now, this is one of the Thousand Island National Park islands. And uh, it's one of the last ones, other than Maine Duck, uh, going to Lake Ontario. Now, this island is a pretty big one uh, compared to others. Uh, and what's really nice about it is, as you can see, one of the Mortello Towers um, that, were that were constructed before the 1850s uh, is sitting on it. Now, you can see that the wall surrounding Tello Tower uh, is gone or uh, has seen uh, better days, but the actual tower has been refurbished and it's part of the uh, Canadian Historical Monuments. Um, now this one has uh, <coughs> foot, uh, feet on all four corners and with the uh, gun holes to defend it from also from uh, ground attacks. Now not too far from it, as you're going to see, uh, we are at one of the docks on Cedar Island uh, that National Parks Canada offers and uh, right here you can see Capella docked at one of them. Now, uh, this dock is one of the deepest one with uh, a average of 10 to 15 feet uh, of water at the dock. Now, if you go on the inside of this dock, you'll see that the water comes up, uh, and especially the chains holding the docks will stop you from going any further if you're not a powerboat with a uh, stern drive that you can bring up. Now, 
These docks are further east. The bay in general, uh, we're talking of about uh, 10 to 5 feet. Uh, you could definitely park uh, power boats that uh, have a 4 foot draft uh, you know, all the way up to 50 feet. Um, but anything past uh, 6 feet draft, I would be worried about. Um, now, again, as you can see, we're minutes away from downtown Kingston. We can dingy over, we can dingy over Fort Henry, and uh, it's an awesome place and a beautiful place to be, and a great island to have a nice little hike on. Um, <clears throat> the water, the day we took this video, was extremely calm with no wind, and that's why we were able to go as far with the drone. Now, we're gonna get in, or I'm trying to get in a little closer to Capella, and uh, hopefully I do somewhat of a good job. <laughs> so, here we are for uh, Cedar Island. Hey guys, today we are now flying over the CFB KYC, or better known as the Canadian Forces Base Kingston Yacht Club. Now, I know both of those are a mouthful in itself, but do you want to hear what it was originally named when it was first founded in 1954? It was named the Kingston Squadron of the Royal Canadian Naval Sailing Association, or if you want to say it for short, the KSRCNA. Er, sorry, the KSRCNSA, even more of a mouthful. Now, this marina is located in downtown Kingston, um, and only military personnel are allowed to go in there. So, if they're in it right now, or if they're uh, veterans, they still can go into there. It's a very nice marina, and yeah, it's... <laughs> and the ice is free. Yeah, and the ice is free. <laughs> Finally got it. Now I'm gonna swing my phone. Yes. Thanks to our good friend, I was able to make your Disney dreams come true. <laughs> oh, I don't like this one. No. I don't. <laughs> I'm not taking, I know, I want one that's not this nice. Okay, you're gonna need those? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're trying to be a one-up on the Ray Marine. Yes. I guess this stems from Jason going to GPS and taking it and throwing it in the lake the other night. Wow, our boat. Is it Mr. Tux and little Miss Carla, or is it the herb? Now, this is why uh, <clears throat> you don't play fight with uh, both of your sons on main duck. So as you can see here, I have a pretty good handle on my oldest, uh, up until about two seconds after where he flips me over, and right at that precise moment, my elbow gets... Uh, broken. So what happens next is there's the Coast Guard ship called Griffin and uh, we just held him down. So the Canadian Coast Guard ship Griffin just happened to be pulling in a main duck 
We gave them a call, it was perfect timing because we're pretty sure Jason has a broken arm. Yeah. So they're coming to check him out. Fun time. Just an FYI, she's uh, 234 feet long and approximately 46 feet wide. Hey now. How's your Sunday fun day going, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> and once they got me off the island, uh, this is the Cape Aaron out of Portsmouth Marina in Kingston. And this is what came and got me and brought me back to Portsmouth Marina where an ambulance was actually waiting for me. So this is what happens after a night of uh, too much fun. Uh, you end up at the hospital after a Coast Guard right? to uh, check out your elbows because, well, they uh, hurt you to the point that you want to cut them off. So keep you posted on what's happening. And the result is a broken elbow and a torn rotator cuff. Thanks, Tyler. Oh, is it too soon, guys? Hey guys, we're off to another adventure. Please like, subscribe, and please share if you like these videos. See you guys. If you guys want to help us without doing much at all, please click like and subscribe. And possibly that little bell to get notifications next time we put out a video. Thanks guys.